Hi guys, it's Rachel from Rachel Republic. Today I will be showing you how to make these chocolate cakes filled with a matcha white chocolate filling. I'm not going to lie, these cakes were originally supposed to be matcha lava cakes, but that didn't really work out that way and I'll explain it to you in a second. Here are all the ingredients you'll need. So basically you're going to start by setting up a bain-marie or a double boiler. I did this part wrong so just kind of bear with me. Essentially you're going to combine your white chocolate, matcha powder, and oil all together. So I'm usually kind of lazy so I don't really set up an official double boiler and I just use two saucepans, but that does not work for white chocolate because the steam that escapes from the water really prevents the white chocolate from melting appropriately. So make sure you use a proper bain marie with a bowl that covers the hot water completely. My mixture ended up being this kind of pasty mess, but I still was able to scoop that into the ice cube tray. So regardless, go ahead and scoop your matcha mixture into an ice cube tray and freeze that for about 15 minutes. Now we're going to move on to the chocolate cake. So all you have to do is combine one stick of butter with four ounces of chocolate. Melt those together on top of a double boiler, but you don't have to be so specific with this one because regular chocolate is a lot easier to melt compared to white chocolate. Once the mixture is liquidy and smooth, set it aside. In a separate bowl, crack in two eggs. Then add in two egg yolks and three tablespoons of white sugar. And just blend those together on a high speed. You'll know the mixture is done when it's light and frothy. Slowly add the egg mixture into your chocolate mixture, stirring really well because you don't want to cook the eggs. Then add in three tablespoons of flour. Prepare about four ramekins by putting on a layer of butter and then putting on a layer of flour afterwards. Add enough chocolate batter until it reaches halfway. Then pop in one of those matcha ice cubes that you made earlier. Then cover up the cube with more chocolate batter. Bake the cakes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. Make sure the center of the cakes have risen fully and aren't sunken in into little pits. If they are sunken in in the middle, make sure you bake it for a little bit longer in the oven. Invert the ramekins onto your dish and then let it cool down for about 10 minutes. Then you can go ahead and lift the ramekin easily. The cake should just pop out real nice. And don't worry if the tops of your cakes, or the bottoms of your cakes technically, are a little bit unattractive, just go ahead and dust some matcha powder on top of that and no one will even know. And there you go, that's how you make chocolate cakes filled with this nice matcha filling. If you want it to be a lava cake, go ahead and melt the white chocolate appropriately and then it'll become a lava cake as well.